Okay, this is for all my little kindergarten students, my little kitties. How are you today? This is David Ya Christian, founder, co-founder of Helpology. And so we're going to have some fun today. We're going to remind, we're going to first remember the help out, what Helpology is. It's the study of what's most helpful. So repeat after me. First off, hands and eyes. Very good, very good. Hands and eyes. You only, you're only going to know that if you watch the other video. If you didn't watch the other video, you're not going to know hands and eyes. I'm not going to go through it again. You got to watch that other video first. So let's get started. Hands and eyes. Very good. Okay. As again, I said, my name is David Ya Christian, co-founder of Helpology. Helpology is the study of what's most helpful. And today we're going to learn from this book how to gain love. By the way, that's me when I was 24. I'm 52 now. That was 1994. I wrote this first book of, I wrote two books. This is my first book I wrote in 1994. I'm 52 now. I was 24 then. How to gain, this is the book we're going to all learn today. However many videos it takes, we're going to go nice and slow so all the kiddies get it. We're going to teach this at the kindergarten level. And then that way it's for K through 12. Anyone K through 12 can watch this video. If you can learn it at kindergarten, you're going to know, you master it at 12th grade. So, And even in college and universities, you can, you're going to want to be studying this because you're going to want to learn how to teach kindergarten students. So you might as well study this at the university level as well. It's all for free. This is our gift. My fiance, Faith Ya Christian, is the co-founder of Helpology. And this is our gift to the world. Anyone can use this video for free. You can translate it into any language. Bring it to your governments in any country and let them know you want to play it in your school systems. Change the world with Helpology for free. Or you could just ignore it and pretend it doesn't exist. And keep hoping everything changes and not do a darn thing about it. It's up to you. You're the adults. Wake up. It's offered for free. What are you going to do with it? It's your responsibility. Here we go. How to gain love, respect, happiness, health, and wealth. Personal perfection of your mind. Your personal guide to continuous improvement. Dominic Ficini CI Books. Dominic Ficini was my pen name back in the day. A pen name is a name you use when you're writing with a pen. So a pen a name is whatever when you were writing with a pen. So like when you wrote a book, your pen name was the name you used when you wrote, you chose to use a different name. So anyways, that was the pen name I used back then. Now my name is David Ya Christian. But before we read this book, we want to find out why we want to read this book. Well, in my second book, Dave Christian's Helpology, in my second book, somebody wrote me a letter, and I want to share that letter with you, is to see why we want to read this book. Why do we want to read this book? You know, what's, what's up with this book? Well, let's find out what someone else said. You don't just want to go by what I say. Let's find out what someone else said. Someone sent me a letter and they said, uh, here, I said, one reader, one reader named Christos Kulos wrote me an amazing letter sharing how my book helped save his life through the Holy Spirit. Now, listen, we're not talking religion here. This is not religious. This is what someone else said. What are we going to say? He saved his life through the blank, blank, and not, I mean, come on. We got to, this is, we're not sharing religion here. We're sharing someone's testimony. You, you have a right to hear the testimony. I'm not trying to teach or preach religion here. I'm not going to share anything that's going to be a hate crime or anything like that. We're teaching the kiddies in kindergarten, and this is just a factual thing someone else said. We have to look at it. This is what this person said. His name was Christos Corlos. By the way, when I wrote this book, I didn't believe in God. I knew I believed there was no God. 
It's called an atheist. So back in the day when I was an atheist, I wrote this first book, How to Gain Love, Respect, Happiness, Health, and Wealth. Now, just so you know, today I believe in the Bible, but you don't have to believe in the Bible. That's not for everyone. I mean, that's something you have to decide throughout your whole life. I'm not here to tell you you have to believe in the Bible. You know, I'm just sharing with you my story. Now, again, we're not teaching this in the schools. We're not teaching the Bible and Christianity. We're just sharing our personal experience. What, are we going to lie to them and say, well, we're not going to tell you what really happened? No, we got to be honest. And you, the children have a right to know what was what happened. So you can hide this from the kindergartners, but they're going to be mad at you later when they find out that you hid it from them for 10 or 20 years or, well, however many years you got, and, and when you could have just shared it with them and helped them. So don't be selfish. Don't be greedy. Let them learn the truth about what, how this came into existence and let the, truth, let the chips fall where it may. You know, if the truth is the truth, so be it. Don't be so selfish and greedy as to not let the kindergartners learn this stuff. Come on. Don't be so mean. So anyway, one reader named Christos Kurlos wrote me an amazing letter sharing how my book helped save his life through the Holy Spirit. And now, the Holy Spirit is supposed to be, well, we don't know if if it's for sure or not, but this is what some people believe, that the Holy Spirit is uh, like God and that he'll come to you and teach you stuff. That's what some people believe. It's what I believe, but you don't have to believe it. We're not here to tell you what to believe. I'm just sharing with you my personal experience. Again, what am I going to do? Lie to you and say nothing happened, nothing to report here. No, we're going to tell you the truth so you can decide what you want to believe. You're a kindergartner. You got your whole life to decide what you want to believe. But this is what someone said. This is even though I wrote the book when I thought I knew for certain God did not exist. Huh. This person's telling me that the book saved his life through the Holy Spirit when I didn't even believe God existed. And I wrote this book. So that was amazing. Anyway, this is what they said. This was dated three, which is January, February, March, January. See, there's three. Look at this. I'm going to teach you some things. We're going to go nice and slow, kiddies. And we're going to learn so many things that no adults are going to teach you because they don't take the time like we do, right? Because I love you. We're going to go nice and slow. See, on the number three, there's one, two, three little points. One, two, three. So that's how you can look at the number three. One, two, three. Get it? So now number three, we're going to say, what month is the third month? January. February, March. So the number three, when you see it, that means March. March 15th, and then 01 is, means 2001. There's 2001, 2001. So January, February, March 15th, 2001. What that's uh, about 20 years ago, because it's 2022 right now. Harrison Township, Michigan, USA. Okay. Dear Pete, that was my birth name, was Peter Louis Dominic Facini. So my parents still call me Pete. My mama calls me Pete. Mama Facini calls me Pete still. But I, my legal name is David Christian, but I go by David Yah Christian, Y-A-H in the middle, for personal reasons. So Dear Pete, this guy's writing the letter. Remember who it is. This person who wrote it is Christos Kurlos, who I never met. This is what he said about the book we're about to read. We're going to find out why we would even want to read this book. And why would we want to teach it to kindergartners like you? Once you learn this at kindergarten, it's going to change your whole life. Let's find out why. He says here, Dear Pete, a.k.a. That means also known as. A.k.a. Also for A. A for also. A-L-S-O. A also. K for known is spelled K-N-O-W-N. Also known as A-S. So A-K-A, whenever you see A-K-A, it means also known as David. So this person's saying, okay, dear Pete, also known as David. So he's going to say, what's he going to say? I would like to say, I would like to say that about Seven years ago, 
I found myself under great mental stress. That means he was really worried. He didn't like what was happening. Bad, bad, bad. From being terminated, that means fired or let go, at work. And I found your book at the local, at the Macomb County Library entitled How to Gain Love, Respect, Happiness, Health, and Wealth. That's this one here. How to Gain Love, Respect, Happiness, Health, and Wealth. What else does he say here? Personal perfection. Okay. He says here is going to be how to gain love, respect, happiness, health, and wealth. Personal perfection of your mind. Your personal guide to continuous improvement by Dominic Ficini. So what's he say here? Now, we go over things and we review them and we go and repeat them. Why? Because repetition is the mother of skill. We learned that from Tony Robbins, who's one of the most famous self-help, motivational, help, help you figure out how to make your life change experts in the world. He's one of the leading experts in America and in the whole world. So we're going to take his advice. He says repetition, that means to do something over and over again, is the mother or like the way you're going to learn something of skill. So you want to get good at something, you just keep doing it over and over and over again. Remember in the other video we talked about how many times does a basketball player shoot the basketball when they practice? We found out that some of them shoot it 300 times a day. They shoot the ball 300 times a day. That's a so many times. I can't even count that high. I would forget. But they do that 300 times each day before they go home so they get really good at shooting the basketball. So that's what we want to do with helpology. We want to get really, really good at the helpology question or H question mark. We want to get good at asking what's the most helpful and simplest way that works because that's going to make us very smart. We're going to be genius like Einstein because Einstein said the best design is the simplest one that works. And we took the word best and turned it into most helpful, turned the whole statement into a question. And we learned from Tony Robbins that we think by asking and answering questions. So now we're going to think with Einstein's statement to become wise like Einstein, a genius. Whenever we solve any problem, we're going to ask and answer what's the most helpful and simplest way that works. And so there's a lot of stuff to discover, lots of time to have fun. We're going to go nice and slow. How many in the classroom need to go slow sometimes? Raise your hand. Yeah, me too. I know. It's okay. We're going to go nice and slow for you to make sure your attention is there and you're going to get it. And if you have to, ask the teacher to stop the video and press rewind or whatever and watch it again. However many times you got to watch this video, what else are you going to study that's more important than this? Think about it. Now, here we go. So this guy, what was his name again? Christos Kulos. He says, I found your book at the Macomb County Library. Macomb County is in Michigan because I donated the book to the library. He found it in the library. Let's see if I find the picture of me donating this thing because I did donate it. Let's find out. Be patient with me. I'm patient with you. So give me time here to find this. I don't think I'm going to find it. Uh, hold on. Take a break. Stretch. Relax. This is totally unscripted. So here we go. This is me donating the book. Okay. Margaret Haynes, Adult Services Librarian, recently accepted the donation of Ford the Second graduate Dominic Ficini's new book. There I am giving the book to the library. So we give the book to the library, right? To help people for free. And somebody gets the book out of the library. And he reads it. And then he writes a letter to me. 
That's what we're reading here. So what is this? What does Christos Kulos say in the letter? He says, what does he say here? Nice and slow, we're gonna go for you kitties, okay? Why? Because I love you. I love you very much. You're the future of our United States of America and the entire world. You're very important. You're very special. Each and every one of you has special, unique gifts and talents to share with the world. So I wanna help you bring those talents out to change your life and change the life of the whole world. So let's do it. Let's have some fun learning, okay? Raise your hand if you wanna have fun learning. Look at everybody's hand went up. Woo! Teachers, take a, take a note here. They want to have fun learning, okay? So remember that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Where is it? We were saying, he said, I got this book. And it was called How to Gain Love, Respect, Happiness, Health, and Wealth, Personal Perfection of Your Mind, which turned out to be the glue to hold me to this life. What? He's saying that he's using these words. He's saying it's like a picture. He's saying glue. It wasn't really glue, but he's saying it's like glue to make him hold or stick to this life, meaning he was wanting to die. But the book helped stick him to life like glue. I'd been injured at the postal job. He used to be a postman. Slip and fall, you see. I was delivering mail for a friend, January 25th, 1985, for a fellow postal male lady friend who was severely, I can't read that word, probled by a pit bull, okay? So we don't know what that says exactly, but attacked perhaps or hurt, wounded. It looks like wounded by a pit bull. So one of those really fierce dogs, right? A pit bull dog and given, I can't read that. Shepherd running wild, a German, oh, see, and another dog. Look at this, a pit bull dog and a German shepherd running wild. So two dogs, huh? Wow, could you imagine a pit bull coming at you and a German shepherd? Woo, look out. In the area when I came to this one house and went up a series of 15 steps and was reaching the box with mail in my right hand. So picture that. He's reaching for the mailbox with mail in his right hand when the ice on the steps became slippery. Oh no. And the mailbag, what happened? The mailbag weight pulled me back down. Oh no. My right foot. I can't read that. Stopped sliding from under me. Start. Okay, my right foot started sliding out from under me. And before I knew it, I was at the bottom of the steps. Oh no, he fell on the walkway, spread eagle with my mail spread out, all of it in the snow all about. Oh my gosh, he fell down and all his mail went flying all over the place. Can you picture that? He got hurt really bad too. Watch what he says. After I came back to, means he passed out. So he says, after I came back to, which means like I came back or woke up, I was in shock. So could you imagine, have you ever gotten hurt to where you're just in shock, you can't believe it? This is what happened to this, this Christos Kulos. He gathered up what mail I could and I went home. In the morning, I had to go to the hospital because I couldn't get up out of bed on my own. I broke my leg, oh no. Neck and back, oh no. And couldn't work for years. <gasps> He got really, really hurt. He broke his neck, back, and leg. That's terrible. My faith, which is the name of my fiance, Faith, 
same name. That just means to believe. My faith. So he's saying my faith or my belief was severely tested. So his faith in what? Well, I guess his faith in, in God or something. So see, he doesn't say yet. My faith. But when someone just says my faith, they're talking about my faith in the Bible or my faith in God in general. Not always, but most of the time. My faith was severely tested. Pain medication. So he was put on pain medication. Didn't work. Depress oh my gosh. So he had lots of pain and the medication didn't work. He Depression set in. He started getting sad. Really sad. Ever Raise your hand if you've ever gotten really, really sad. Yes, look at everybody. Eventually, sometimes we get really, really sad for different reasons, right? And then what happens when we get really, really sad? Sometimes, let's see what he said for happening with him. Depression set in and thoughts and thoughts and Durser worked. I can't understand. They're going to do it. Worked me out for years. Okay, so depression set in and thoughts and something worked me over for years and I still remained in a stupor. That means like shock. He's just walking around going, oh my gosh, I can't believe this about it all. So this, he can't even believe this is happening, okay? But every rose has a thorn. Oh no, this is what that means. He's saying, look, every bad thing, no, every good thing, every rose, rose is a beautiful thing and it smells nice. So every, but every rose, so every good thing has a thorn, a bad thing. See, roses have thorns. They're pretty and they're beautiful and they smell good, right? Rose, beautiful red rose. But they also have a thorn, which means you can get hurt by them. They prick you. So he's saying, look, everything is like this in life. Every rose, every good thing has a thorn, something bad. But every rose has a thorn. I f and, or I found through prayer. Okay, so he started, he's saying, look, I'm not telling you to pray. I'm just sharing with you what he said. So educators, we're not teaching Christianity or religion here. We're simply reading a testimony. The children have a right to know what this person said about this book we're about to read. There's nothing wrong with sharing this with the students. This is called free speech. We're not teaching religion here. We're sharing what this person said. So he says, through, I found through prayer, which means talking to God, if you believe in God. If you don't believe in God, then you wouldn't talk to him. That would be silly. <laughs> right? Okay. So, and you don't have to believe in him or not. I'm not here to tell you either way. I'm just here sharing with you what happened to this person. And I'm explaining it as we go. Then I found through prayer, your book. So he's saying he prayed and found the book after that. Wow. That's pretty amazing. Considering I didn't believe in God when I wrote it. Right? <laughs> and he read all the simple truths it holds. And it rekindled, that means it brought back life back within me. Wow. I began to read it to my family. Wow. Wife, aunt, wife, Jen, wife, 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 I can't read it. Gina, oh, this is wife, Gina. Family, wife, Gina, and three children. So listen, he's reading this book to his wife, Gina, and his three children. And this book is written for children. We're going to read it at, we're, we're reading it at the what level? Kindergarten level, right? Say with me, we're learning at the kindergarten level. Very good. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Everybody's learning at the kindergarten level. And all seeing me come alive again through this reminder of how important our family is. See, even though he was hurt, he was realizing his family was what's important and he had them in his life. And now he got to spend more time with them, right? And he got to read this book with them. So he's coming back to life through his, from his sadness and depression. We all pulled together. No, gelled. Okay, listen. We all gelled together. Gelled means like jello when you make it and it gets hard. So he's saying they all came together and solidified and got hard together like jello. Together, reading aloud, which is what we're going to do. Your miraculous 
That means like not found in nature, or miracle, miraculous, simple truths book in an easy to read format. I realized that by reading and following in what you wrote made sense to me. And over time, my mental exercises began bringing me out of my demonic depression. Whoa, we have to explain what this is. Now, listen, some people believe in this. Some people don't. There's no one knows for sure the truth. But, you, you know, you're going to have to decide what you believe as you get older. Some people believe that there are demons, evil spirits, and that make you depressed. Some people don't believe that. It's up, you know, over time, you're going to have to decide for yourself what to believe. I am not here to tell you what to believe. I'm just sharing with you what is written here. My, he's saying, though, that, that these mental exercises he did from this book, which I wrote when I was not a Christian. I'm a Christian now. But when I was an atheist, someone who does not believe in God, which, again, I'm not here to tell you what to believe. This is just the facts of the story, right? Raise your hand if you understand what I'm saying. I'm not trying to teach you Christianity, right? I'm not making you believe religion, right? I'm just sharing with you the story, right? This is all that happened. I mean, we, what are we going to hide the truth and say nothing happened here? We got to tell you the truth, right? Well, what happened? So there's nothing wrong with this in the public school to share with what's called the testimony or the true story. I mean, if you report it in the news, you're going to have to tell the true story, right? Why not report the news to the children and tell the truth? Or we're we going to hide the truth from them so they don't know what's really going on. That's not fair to them. Come on, they're kindergartners. For crying out loud, let them learn something for once. Something that could change their life. My mental exercises began bringing me out of my demonic depression. My family feels, my family feels the mental wealth now. Wow. See what he's saying here? He's saying my family feels the mental wealth, not money, not financial money wealth. Which is what most people think when they hear wealth. They think money, 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 wealth, wealth, wealth. No, he's saying mental wealth, meaning the richness or having helpfulness or usefulness, wealth, value of something, the usefulness of something, the helpfulness of something, the value, helpfulness, the wealth of his mind, of his thoughts, of asking and answering questions, the mental wealth now. And I believe it to be a miracle cure. So what he's saying is not my words. He's saying he believes this book we're about to read is a miracle cure. I felt I lost my identity. That means who we are, who we think we are and wanted to die. Okay. This person wanted to kill themselves. Not only from all the, I can't read that and something, but from blank job, losing my job. Okay. It's not from all the Okay, this is pain. Okay, so he's saying he didn't want to live anymore, not from just all the something and pain. He was feeling so much pain he wanted to die, but for also from losing his job. See, how many of you know that when a man loses his job, he feels really, really bad about it because he's supposed to take care of his mommy and his daddy and his, I mean, you know, his wife and his children. And when a man loses his job, he feels really, really bad, right? Makes sense, right? So this person's saying, look, it felt really bad to lose my job. The pain and suffering I can deal with, but losing my job felt worse. And all my, not immediate, but family abandoning, oh my gosh, abandoning me. So that means his family left him because he didn't have a job anymore and he didn't have money. So his family abandoned him. They were like, I don't want to do anything with you. You don't have anything for us to get from you. So we're going to abandon you. Because you got, you, now you're crippled and have no money. So isn't that sad? His own family abandoned him. But he says not immediate family. That's his children. Or immediate family would be the closest relatives. That would be mommy, daddy, brother, sister. That's immediate family. But then the rest of your family would be your cousins and your uncles and your aunties, right? Okay, so he's saying his immediate family stayed with him, but his other family abandoned him. Since the incident or the accident when he broke his legs and stuff. Now he says here, the Holy Spirit, this is what he believes. I'm not telling you what to believe. This is what he believes. The Holy Spirit 
We're just reporting on the truth of what happened. The Holy Spirit kept talking to me every time I'd read your book. Stuff like, Greater is he who lives in me than he who lives in the world. Now, I'm not going to explain what all that means. We don't want to get into religion here, but this is what he said. Maybe you'll learn about that later sometime, but the whole, I don't want this to become a religious teaching. So I'm just sharing with you what he said. I'm not going to go into too much teaching. But he said, I got to tell you what that means, though. You're not going to understand. This is why we teach it at kindergarten level. He said, the Holy Spirit, who he believes God was talking to him, he believes he heard this, maybe not audibly, but maybe like in his heart, he just kind of, you know, an idea popped in his head. He said stuff like, greater is he who lives in me, that would be the Holy Spirit living in him, than he who lives in the world. He's talking about if, if someone believes in Satan or the devil or evil spirits living in the world. So he's saying that the Holy Spirit in him is greater than the evil spirits. That's what he said God was talking to him, saying that. Again, I'm not here to tell you what to believe. I'm just sharing with you the story. The Holy Spirit helped me and you were with me even though I am something not you, but you blank me feel, okay. He's saying, but look, I, even though you're not with me here, you made me feel I can. He's saying the book made him feel like he could do it, whatever it is. I can. Look at it. He's excited. I can. Instead of being, I can't. Look, he's handicapped, broken leg, broken back. People left him, his family. But now he's starting to believe he can change his life. I can. It changed my life. And all my relationships have changed for the better. I hope you finish publishing another book on emotions. Do CDs. See, back then we had CDs. And TV shows too. He's saying he will hope I do a TV show. Instead, we're doing YouTube now. That's better. The bottom line is that I'd like to thank you from my heart for this mental exercise book to correct my take it for granted and depression, imbalance, and though applying your simple truths in your book, life is now worth living again. Thank you, Pete. I remain your loyal disciple. That means student. Like you guys are just, you're just students. But when adults say it, sometimes they say disciple. But that's also in religion. They say that disciple or in martial arts, exercising and stuff like that. They'll say disciple. It's a fancy way of saying student. So you're all students. Okay. But some would say you're disciples, but that's usually when you get older. Okay. A disciple is someone who follows a teacher for a long time, okay? But he's saying, look, even when he read his this book of mine, the one we're about to read at the kindergarten level for you kiddies, because I love you so much, I'm giving it to you for free, and we want to help change the world, right? We want to make the world a better place. Like all the adults around you keep saying they want the world to be a better place, right? Well, here it is. It's for them for free. Let's see what they do with it. It's their responsibility. If they don't share this with their students, shame on them. They had the answer to their, their, their hopes and wishes and they didn't do it. That would be silly, wouldn't it? Thank goodness they're doing it and letting you watch. You should thank them very much right now. In fact, thank your teachers. Go look at them right now and say, thank you. We're going to, on three, we'll say, thank you. One, two, three. Thank you. Very good. Because you're special. They let you watch this. Now, here we go. He says, thank you, Pete. I remain your loyal disciple. That means committed, and I want to still I'm gonna follow you as a student. I'm gonna in the Lord. Now he's talking about God. So he says, in the Lord. Now listen, he's saying, I'm your loyal disciple in the Lord. But I don't believe in God when I wrote the book. So I don't know why he's even saying that to me. Do you understand? So this is what I want you to understand: is this book was written when I didn't believe in God, I wrote it. And this person read it and he was like, you know, thank you. I believe in the, you know, you're my, I'm your disciple in the Lord. And I'm like, what is that? Why? Why? Why is he a disciple in the Lord when I don't believe in God? So anyways, it was weird for me when I read this letter. I was like, this is strange. But then it said, keep letting your light shine. And I'm like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> then he says, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Now, you might not know what that means. Most adults don't know what it means. So let's learn as kiddies what hallelujah means because a lot of people say it and then you, you should know what hallelujah means. It's a very common word. People say hallelujah. It means praise you, yah. Praise you, yah. And yah means I am. So hallelujah means praise you, I am. It's talking to the creator. Hallelujah. Praise you, yah. Praise you, I am. It's a way to say praise the, the, the creator. If you believe in the creator. If you don't believe in the creator, then that's okay too. It's ever good for you. That's between you and your mommy and daddy and whatever you want to believe. I'm just here sharing with you this story. Sincerely, Christos Kurlos. P.S. That means postscript. That means after the script. Post is after. Here's the script. The writing is up here. The script is writing. Script. Postscript means after. Post is after. So after the writing, after the script, postscript. P.S. P.S. Postscript. You're, and he's talking to me, he's saying, you are truly Mr. Wealthy, exclamation mark. So he's complimenting me saying, you are truly Mr. Wealthy, meaning like I'm rich, but not just money. He says, you're truly Mr. Wealthy, wealthy that I can help people. Okay. Now here we go. We're going to jump right into the book. And then this book, Dave Christian's Helpology, I'm going to read that also and give that to everyone for free. But this one, you're probably never going to get to hear because in the schools, they're not going to let you learn it because it's going to talk about how I got to know God. But that's between, you know, you can go, when you get older, you can go find it on YouTube. It'll be on the YouTube Helpology. Just go on, you know, Google Helpology, you'll find it. It's there for you for free one day. But don't be upset. You can't listen to it now. The, you know, everybody's got their own rules. They got to go by them. So just be glad you're getting to watch this right now. Here we go. How to gain love, respect, happiness, health, and wealth. What is this stuff, by the way? Oh, we're going to learn in the book. Personal perfection. That means doing something really, really good. Of your mind. Your personal guide. That means your own little book. To continuous improvement. That means always getting a little better. Dominic Faccini, CI Books. Let's find out what's on the back. When you get a book, you want to read the cover, see what it says. You want to flip it over and go to the back, see what the back says. See if you want to read it. And on the back, you want to read every little thing. This is how I'm going to teach you. This is what I call attention to detail. I was taught this in the Marine Corps. I'm a United States Marine Iraq War veteran. I served in the Marine Corps. I'm a Marine. And they taught me attention to detail. That's why you know, I do like this. This is how I got good at stuff. Is I attention to detail. I go slow. I focus on each thing. And I'm teaching you how to do that. So then you can pass up all your teachers in, their, in your wisdom and knowledge. You're going to be smarter than your teachers. Because they don't do this. They don't go slow. They don't say, let's see. This is self-help self-improvement okay it's 1195 back in 1994 now today you can't even buy this book it's not in print but i'm sharing it with you for free you can just watch it as many times as you want on youtube for free you don't have to buy the book i'm not here to make money i'm just here to share with you for free because remember in the other video i told you why i'm doing this for free i set a goal when I was 18, I was listening to Tony Robbins. He had a program called Personal Power. And he was teaching me how to change my life. And he taught me to set goals. I mean, say what you want to do. Like you got goals every day. You say, I want to watch TV. That's a goal. I want to eat something. That's a goal. And then you do it. So there are little goals that you do every day. They're called goals. It's like shooting a, uh, kicking a ball into the net in soccer. The goal, you kick the ball in, right? That's a goal. So your goals in life are just things you want to do. You're trying to kick the soccer ball into the net in your life, right? Okay. So now we go self-help. That means help yourself. Self-improvement. That means get a little better each time. And so now we're going to see. This book will show you exactly how to gain love respect, 
happiness, health, and wealth. How to avoid becoming unloved, disrespected, that means not liked, sad, sick, and poor. How to use the unlimited power, that means your ability to do something, of your mind to get whatever you truly want. How to change any beliefs you have that are hurting you. How to set goals, things you want to do, that get you excited. Wow, this book sounds pretty good so far, doesn't it? Let's take a show of hands. How many people like this so far? Raise your hand if you're excited about what we're learning so far. How come everybody in the room is raising their hand? Teachers, take notice of this. Every student in the room wants to learn this stuff. They're excited, they're happy, they're fun, they're curious. This is an adventure, right? We're gonna discover together. This is science, we're gonna learn. This is what everyone teacher is trying to do is teach their students how to discover, be excited about learning and growing and everything. Well, this one teaching is doing it all. So you should be excited as an educator that this is being given to them for free because it's gonna change their whole uh, des desire and passion and love for learning. And it's gonna change everything they do from now on for free. And it will change America and it will change the world. How to set goals that get you excited. How to motivate, that means get yourself to do something. Yourself, so how to make yourself do something. To take continuous, that means you keep doing it. Action, when you do something. Towards, to, your goals, the things you want. What questions you need to ask yourself in order to come up with great ideas how to make anything more valuable or helpful how your mind works how to have more control over your mind what you need to do to continuously always improve make better your mind a little bit each time a little bit at a time so let's see what it says here why it's so important for you to continuously improve or make better your mind. Where to find the absolute best or most helpful products available on your mind today. Well, that was when this book was written in 1994. The answer is real simple right now. It's YouTube. You don't have to pay for it. You just go to YouTube and go to the Helpology channel on YouTube and you'll find the absolute best free services, products, videos on everything you want to learn. So that's where everything's at right now is YouTube. It's the new school of the world. And much, much more. CI Books, a division of CI Publishing. What is this? It says ISBN with a number. This is the barcode that they use when you buy something. They scan it. Ding. This ISBN, I don't even know what that means. You got to Google it. Okay, so when you get older, Google it. Something, some number. Now, let's go into the book. Now, should we just skip this because we just read it? No, we're not going to skip anything. Listen, the author of this book, put this in here again for a reason. Because repetition is what? Some of you know already, some of you don't. I'm going to teach you again. Sit, repeat after me. Oh, right, by the way, hands and eyes, hands and eyes. Very good. By the way, if you don't know what hands and eyes is, let's teach you that real quick. Hands and eyes is when I say hands and eyes, you're going to take your hands, put them together like you're going to, you know, be hands together. And then you're going to look very focused at me with your full attention. That's called hands and eyes. And that is to make sure you're focused and listening. So we're going to say hands and eyes. And then you put your hands together and you focus with your eyes at me. And that's hands and eyes. So ready? One, two, three. Hands and eyes. Hands and eyes. Very good. Okay, now look at, see how we get their attention, teachers? Notice what they're doing. They are focused. They're not hitting each other. <laughs> they're not playing games, horse play with each other. They're focused on learning right now. So you can teach them this. Actually, they already know it now. From now on, if you want attention in your classroom, just say hands and eyes and they'll do this for you. It's not hard. It's not difficult. It's actually called power teaching. You can Google power teaching. There's video after video after video. We got most of them in the playlist on Helpology. But if you ever just want to study it on your own on the internet, just Google power teaching. 
Now, here we go. This book will show you exactly how to gain love, respect, that means liking you, happiness, make you feel good, health, and wealth, money as well as uh, helpfulness or value of something, something usefulness. How to avoid or stop becoming unloved, disrespected, not liked, sad, sick, and poor. How to use the unlimited, that means there's no limit, power, usefulness, ability to do something of your mind to get whatever you truly want. How to change any beliefs you have that are hurting you. How to set goals, things you want to do or have that get you excited. How to motivate, make yourself do yourself to take continuous, always, action to do towards your goals, things you want. What questions you need to ask yourself in order to come up with great ideas. Now, this book was written and there's several questions in here, but I didn't have, I did not have discovered my wife and I, or my fiance rather, fiance Faith, soon to be wife, did not know the helpology question when we wrote this book, when I wrote this book. We now have the helpology question. So the helpology question is the only question you need to do helpology. And again, we're going to review what that is. The helpology question is what's the most helpful and simplest way that works? So we're going to repeat that after me. Class, 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 hands and eyes. Repeat after me. What's the most helpful and simplest way that works. Very good, we'll do it two more times. So we'll get this question down. This is the most important thing I can teach you. It's the most important thing you learn in your life, I believe. To get started with learning is the helpology question. That's why it's trademarked, it's our exclusive patent on thinking. No one ever has done that before, trademarked thinking and a, and a question, but this is something we're doing. And you get to benefit from it because even though it's trademarked, we, you get to use it for free. We're giving it to you. We don't want a penny from you. We just want you to learn and become excited about learning and change America and change the world. You got a lot of work ahead of you, but we're gonna learn how to do it and have fun, okay? So here we go. Repeat after me. What's the most helpful and Simplest way that works. One more time. What's the most helpful and simplest way that works? Very good. Okay, I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy. I'm making me so excited to know that you're learning this and that each and one, every one of you is gonna start thinking like Einstein. You're gonna be little geniuses. Your teachers are gonna be blown away at how much you wanna learn and how much you love to learn and how creative you are. It's their dream come true. Listen, they've been wanting you to learn this for their whole life. They just never knew it existed, now it does. So all these teachers are gonna be so happy, right teachers? You finally got what you've been asking for all these years. What are you gonna do with it? So here we go. What questions you need to ask? We know the helpology question now. How to make anything more helpful or valuable. How your mind works. How to have more control over your mind. What you need to do to continuously always improve, make better your mind. Why it's so important for you to continuously always improve, make better your mind where to find the absolute best or most helpful products available on your mind today. And the answer is already on Helpology on YouTube. That's all you need is Helpology on YouTube. It's got everything there. As we talked before, there's more than 25,000 videos. You'll never be able to watch them all. And I keep adding more. Faith and I keep working on it. So just for the rest of your life, you'll be able to study Helpology on YouTube for free. So that's going to be the most helpful thing we can offer you and give to you. And it's going to change the world. People just got to, you know, either get on board or be left behind. It's up to them. And it's not for everyone, by the way. Helpology is not for everyone. It's only for those who love to learn. So if you don't love to learn, don't even go there. It's not for you. 
It's for the little kitties, the kindergartners. And much, much more. No, we're not going to skip that, right? No, we're not going to skip this. There's lots to learn every time we read something. And we're going to read it again and again and again. So just get used to it. Stop saying, oh, let's skip that. Let's skip that. You might skip the most important part of the book. It's called Attention to Detail. We want to pay close attention to every little detail. Why? Because then we read something thoroughly the first time, and then we'll know what's important the next time we want to read it. We don't have to read everything the next time. But if we read everything the first time properly, with a good habit, then we'll know what to study next time. Don't be lazy. Okay? There's some people in this world, I'm not going to name names, but there's some people that are so lazy, they'll say, I don't even need to read that book. I already understand how to gain love, respect, happiness, health, and wealth. And then they won't learn anything new. Or they'll come to this page and say, oh, I don't, I'm not trying to get quantity sales or individual sales. I'm not going to read that. Well, listen, this is why you want to read it. Do you want to make money one day? You want to write a book one day, maybe? Well, this is, you're going to learn how to market it and how to get it to people. So com publishing companies do this. They say, okay, if you want a whole bunch of these books, quantity means a lot, more than one. Sales, CI books are available at special quantity discounts. That means a lot at lower price. When purchased or bought in bulk, that means in a whole bunch, by corporations or businesses, organizations or groups. For more information, write to CI Books, P.O. Box 601, Department 100, Bloomfield Hills, Michigan, 48303-0601. Attention, Director, Diversify, that means spread out sales. Now, just so you know, this address is no longer valid. But we're going through it because attention to detail, we're, de we're developing a new habit of just going through everything. It's going to make you so much smarter. You're going to be so much wiser than everyone around you. They're going to be blown away. They're going to be, what is, makes you so smart? You're like, well, I ask and answer the helpology question all the time. It's the best thing I can do. It's the most helpful thing I can ever do is ask and answer the helpology question over and over and over again. And then I go through attention to detail on everything I learn. That's why I know everything. And you skip it so you don't learn. You're going fast and you don't learn. And so you think you're learning because you're saving time by skipping stuff. And here I'm learning about every little detail of stuff is making me come up with new ideas, how to write books, how to market them. So that's why I'm smart is because I'm doing this real slow. Please specify, or it means figure out, or tell us how you intend or want to use the books. Promotion, that means to help people get it for some special reason, to make them aware of it. Resale, sell again. Fundraising, make money to help a cause, etc. Now, etc. means also or other things. Individual sales, that means just one for one person. Are there any CI books other than this book that we're about to read you want but cannot find in your bookstore? Look, there used to be lots of bookstores and most of them are closed now because of Amazon took over the world. Okay, these guys are doing some really good things. Amazon, it's very helpological to study Amazon and learn what they're doing to buy your products and services through Amazon, to research people's, uh, what I do, Faith and I, when we were trying to buy stuff, we go on Amazon. We, uh, we look at the customer reviews, okay? We study those a lot. If we see a product we might want, We'll start reading what the other people say. We'll click most recent reviews, not just what's most relevant or popular. Most recent reviews also, we'll click that. Now, what that's gonna do, kiddies, when it says most recent, that means the newest. If Amazon used to sell a product and then they got it cheaper from China and they switched the product quality You'll learn about that in the most recent comments. Someone will say, I've been using this product for 20, 30 years, and it's not the same product anymore. Amazon switched it last year. I don't buy it anymore. And then you'll be like, oh, don't want to get that. Get it? Now, see, most adults don't understand this. They don't know about what they think they know everything sometimes. <laughs> you know, they, they just assume because they're adults that they figured out life already when they haven't. So don't be like that. Don't ever assume you know. Just be like, I'm going to just go slow and learn everything over and over and over again. I'm going to get real good at it. And so when you say, I want to research on Amazon products and services, I want to see what other people are saying. Don't do it quickly. Go slow. Read what they're saying. And then switch it and say, I want to know what most recent people are saying. You can click on that. 
And then you'll be like, oh, wow, they're saying some different things now. I don't want to buy that product. The Italian is terrible. But if you don't click on most recent, you're not going to know that. Now, do you realize how valuable what we just taught you is? Most adults do not know that. And you're not most adults. You're a kindergarten student. And you know more than the adults now about how to shop on Amazon. Do you see how valuable this stuff is? Raise your hand if you're starting to get this. If you're starting to see the possibilities, the potential for you to change your life with Helpology and this book we're about to read. Teachers, notice every hand in the room is raised. They are all learning this. As simple as making a cake, right? It's easy as pie. We're going step by step. We're going very slow for the kitties, right? They're not, it's not going over their head. Helpology is just the study of what's most helpful. It's not hard. This is not difficult. It was written to be easy for children. You tell me any other science you know of that was written for kindergartners. That's this one. Individual sales. If so, you can order them directly from us. You can get any CI book currently in print for a complete up-to-date listing of your book of our books and information on how to order. Write to CI Books. P.O. Box 601, Department 100, Bloomfield Hills, Michigan, 48303-60601. Now, of course, that address is still no valid, not valid. But why do we review it? Because I'm teaching you how to go attention to detail and go through everything, even when you think you don't want to learn it. What did we learn about Amazon, how to find reviews and all this stuff? You know, bookstores are closed. Amazon took over. That We learned all that just from going through this, that most adults would have been like, this is ridiculous. Why are you reading that to the kids? Stop it, David Yacht Christian. You're teaching the kids too much. No, I'm not. Okay, trust me. They can learn a lot more than you think. It's called, I forget what it is. The Pygmalion effect? The students will learn whatever you, you, you challenge them to learn. It's either Pygmalion or Chameleon. I don't know. I think it's Pygmalion effect. Some scientific study, they did psychology. They said, look, if you expect the students to be geniuses, they're all going to start being geniuses, okay? And that's what we're doing with Helpology. We're expecting them to learn the Helpology question, what's the most helpful and simplest way that works. We're expecting them to think with it, and we're expecting them to come up with great ideas and change the future of our country. Now stop being lazy and start teaching these kids the truth of the potential they have. The science already proves it. Now live up to your duty as an educator, for crying out loud. Come on. I'm just teasing. <laughs> Here we go. No, I'm not. I'm serious. Okay, CI books. How to gain love, respect. No, how to gain love. That feeling of being taken care of. Respect, being liked and liking. Happiness, joy. Health, good health. And wealth, the usefulness or value of something. Personal, that means yours. Par perfection, that means without flaw, <laughs> without error. But really, it doesn't mean that. Perfection means just do as best as you can. So personal, that means you doing as best as you can. Personal perfection. Making yourself better and better and better a little bit each day. That's all that is. Personal perfection. You don't actually want to become a perfectionist. You don't want to try to do everything perfect because you won't be able to. So, But you do want to use the word. You want to say personal perfection. Meaning I'm going to become as best as I can. And if I don't do it perfectly, that's okay. As long as it's the best that I can do it. Get it? Personal, you, perfection, as best as you can. It's going to be different for each person. Of your mind, Dominic Faccini. CI Books, a division of continuous improvement to publishing. Now we know what CI stands for. CI, and it stood for, it's out, the company's no longer in, in existence, but it stood for continuous improvement publishing or letting people know about stuff and books. So now let's see. So far, so good. We, we're we're going to keep going here. And again, these videos take a long time. Why? Because we're going to learn so much. It's going to be ridiculous. Right now, I'm going to take another break. And then when we come back, we're going to learn about copyrights. Then we're going to see about who this book was dedicated to. We're going to see how we acknowledged Tony Robbins in the book back in 1994. We're going to look at the contents of the book. Personal perfection, life, responsibility, knowledge, mental knowledge. I'm just showing this real quick. Power, pain, pleasure, your brain, your mind, your self-esteem, da, 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 da. Okay, we're going to learn all this stuff today. Well, no, it's going to be probably months. You're going to take months to learn it. Maybe weeks or months. 
effort mental, but it's going to be the most important stuff you learn. So you might as well do it. Otherwise, just go back to your regular curriculum and don't teach the students anything that's really going to change their life. Just keep teaching them information they need to forget before they move on. Effort, mental effort, da 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 da. Aware, all these important things we're going to learn: honesty, logic, value, improvement, success, failure, desire, motivation, and goal. All that. Afterward, in fact, definitions, content order, definitions, alphabetical order. We're going to start with that. We're going to read the definitions first, both in content order, then alphabetical order. Uh, then we'll peruse the index first to make sure we see what's in the book and the introduction. So, but anyways, we're going to stop for now. This was a good little starter. And so here we go. And then I'm going to take the camera, put it on me and say, okay, now listen, take your time, relax, have fun with learning always. If you're not having fun when you learn, you're doing it wrong. Okay. I have fun no matter what I'm learning. That's why I keep learning because I want to, I don't watch game shows all day. I've got my mom and sister. They watch game shows 10 hours a day. And I'm in my room in the world headquarters of Helpology in the greater Detroit, Michigan. Look at my room. I got a TV where I learned from. I've got Apple products. Let me show you real quick what's going on for this is one you want to learn. You get yourself an iPad. So I got a big one to learn with. I'm talking to you on a phone. I'm recording everything on an iPhone. See this iPhone? iPhone 13, Max Pro, whatever. You got your iPad. And then also there's a mini. I got a mini over there somewhere in that box. Okay, so I got three Apple products because I'm gonna, I'm a voracious learner, okay? I'm gonna study, I'm gonna watch it on TV. I'm gonna cast two onto the television, the YouTube channels and watch everything on big screen. So there's four places I'm watching. Watching on my cell phone, recording with the cell phone, but I also watch stuff on the cell phone. If I ever walk away and I just want a little thing to take with me, I got the little iPhone. If I want a little bigger, I got the mini. It's the iPad mini. Let's go look at that real quick. You got to see for yourself. This is the flag that we were going to, that we recorded, that we recorded that other video from. But look, this is, you got food over here. Oh, by the way, this was the stand that had the camera, my, my cell phone on when I, we did the camera. Uh, I make my own distilled water. We've got uh, two boiler plates here. I can cook in here. I got a nice oven. But this is the iPad Mini. Okay, you're gonna love that. And this, uh, this Mini is so cool. When you videotape yourself, it'll track you wherever you move. It starts moving with you. It's incredible. So, anyways, let's just uh, conclude with that. And because um, I'm getting a little tired, I'm a little older now, and I'm disabled. But I'm not that disabled. I'm okay. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. I'm just, I am disabled Marine Iraq war veteran. And so sometimes I got to take a break, you know, rest my back. Cause I, have, I got a bad back. It's sore. And so anyway, anyways, I'm not going to teach you a whole bunch of stuff right now. We're going to save that for later. Maybe some other video. I'll teach you what supplements I take. I take a whole bunch of different supplements that are good for me. Turmeric, Asquanga, B12 for energy, immune system stuff. But all this stuff you're going to learn on your own. It's going to be different for you. That's why you need the Helpology question, digestive enzyme. You're going to need the Helpology question to discover all these things yourself. Oh, but you're going to want one of these, the Bose headset, noise cancellation. You can study and learn on this, walk around, listen to the music. You can listen to that music playlist on Helpology. Oh, you're going to want some of this. This stuff's good for you. This gives you energy. It's called peppermint. Put that. Let that come in. Look at this. Oh, it makes you feel good. Gives you energy. Peppermint. It's all natural. And then also tea tree. Tea tree is a, it's like a purifier. It'll make things clean. So I put tea tree and peppermint together in there. Keeps me healthy and energetic at age 52. So anyways, I love you. I can't wait to see what you kindergartners are going to do with this information and wait till we finish this book. Oh my gosh. We got so much to learn in here, but look, it's big, big words. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not a whole bunch of, you know, I wrote it like that. It was bigger, but I'm telling you what, you're going to learn so much from this book. It's so basic and simple. It's going to change your life at the kindergarten level. You are going to remember this for the rest of your life. You're going to say, I can't believe we learned all this in kindergarten. It's going to make you a better first grader. 
make you better. Second grader, third grader, by the time you're like in fifth grade, you'll probably start your own YouTube channel, okay? You're gonna be making money more than your teachers before you get out of elementary school because of what you're learning. I promise you, you're gonna change the world. But um, educators, if you don't share this with your students, shame on you, shame on you. Holding back from them helpology, shame on you. Okay, I love you guys, bye-bye.